Jumbo good people, welcome to the African Diaspora News Channel. I'm your host, African Tigress from Nairobi, Kenya, here to keep you posted with everything happening across the motherland or issues of interest to the motherland. So in case you're new here, kindly consider subscribing and tap the bell for notifications so that you can always get notified whenever we are posting. Well, some news coming from the Democratic Republic of Congo. You probably know the Democratic Republic of Congo. You've heard about the Congo. You know about a number of things that are happening in that country and how people are suffering in the country. So on 30th June, the Democratic Republic of Congo celebrated 60 years anniversary since they gained independence from Belgium. Independence, right? Well, but I'm so glad that not everybody is getting blinded by this fake independence and this this young artist who went to the street to demonstrate or to celebrate independence in a very special way i'm going to play that clip <laughs> Well, as you can see, this artist has painted his body in the colors of the flag of the Democratic Republic of Congo. He's walking in chains. He's recognizing that they are not truly free. They're still chained. And he has an iPhone. Very significant. This artist is actually trying to pass a message. You know, 80% of coltan, which is used to make cell phones, 80% of it, of the world's coltan, comes from the Democratic Republic of Congo. Yet the Democratic Republic of Congo is ranked to be among the poorest countries in this world. Very poor, but very rich. Extremely rich in resources. You can see he has a phone on his stomach. He's in chain. He's bleeding. He's passing a message. What independence are we celebrating? We are still in chains. We are bleeding. Young kids are suffering. You've seen a lot of videos. You've had a lot of news about how kids are being exploited. You've heard on how it's hard for a country to be peaceful. And that is the tactic that is being used these days. No, they no longer use cause. In the previous past, they would use coups, whereby, you know, there'd be a coup and, you know, a lady is assassinated or what. But these days, it's economic instability. Destabilize the nation, make people fight. Let the people not unite. And it's so sad when I see a very huge nation. I think Congo is like the second or third largest country in Africa, yet it's the poorest. Young people are tired. They're trying to pass a message. This gentleman is passing a message. You could be alone in the streets, but his message is very powerful. It cannot be taken for granted. The minds of the young people are waking up to the reality. We have a lot of Congolese refugees across the world. And it's so sad because, you know, they're just trying to look for a better opportunity somewhere. Yet, there's lots of opportunities. Dr. Arikana once said, if you observe the skies of the Congo, you'll see flight, aeroplanes, getting into the country, picking resources, stealing from the country. It's so unfortunate. The mobile devices that we enjoy, we are enjoying them at the expense of the people of Congo. The children who are being exploited in the mines. A lot of companies have been sued for the exploitation of the Congo, but really nothing comes forth. No compensation has been done to that great nation of the Democratic Republic of Congo. And my message to the people of the Democratic Republic of Congo, I want you to know that you are not alone. 
We share in your pain. We love you. Keep fighting. Don't ever give up. Someday, for the crimes done against the people of the Democratic of Congo, somebody would be held accountable and will pay for that. So in celebrating 60 years of independence, King Philippe of Belgium sent a letter to the president of the Democratic Republic of Congo and said they deeply regret the atrocities that happened to the people of Congo. I don't know, what do you think? Uh, apologies just enough, we're sorry we did this. We killed, we raped, we stole. We enslaved you. Is Congo free? You apologize. Are we free now? Are we free? How free is the Congo from the former colonial colonizers? Well, so King Philippe said he apologized, deeply regrets and all that. But for me, I'll tell you this. Apologies will only make sense after you pay reparations. You pay for all the atrocities committed to the people of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Return everything that was stolen from the Democratic Republic of Congo and you have to pay. Because that country, that nation, it would be great. It would be powerful. Were it not for the interference, stealing, looting, that happened to the people of this very great nation. So in a letter to the president of the Democratic Republic of Congo, he said, our history is made of common achievement, but has also experienced painful episodes. Common achievements? <laughs> During the period of the Congo Free State, acts of violence and cruelty were committed, which still weigh on our collective memory. Don't forget that King Philippe is a distant nephew of King Leopold II, who owned what was then called the Congo Free State between 1885 and 1908 and ruled its people brutally, exploiting their labor, committing atrocities against them. Historians estimate that under the rule of Leopold, or under his misrule, as many as 10 million people people died 10 million people died those are just not numbers these are human beings who died under this rule under the misrule of leopold the colonial period which followed also caused suffering and humiliation you know belgium ruled congo for 52 years before congo could gain independence so he went ahead to congratulate the president of the Congo uh, for, you know, for gaining an independence. That's one thing I can never, it never sits well in my mind. How do you congratulate us for gaining independence? What sort of independence are you talking about? Are you congratulating us that we managed to free ourselves from your role? And, you know, it doesn't make sense. I would love to know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. What do you think? Apologies? Is that enough? Anyway, to the people of Congo, just know that we love you. Don't give up. Keep fighting. We are together in this. So, so thank you so much for watching this video. Kindly don't forget to check out my YouTube channel, African Tigress, so that you can get notified of such and more news coming from the motherland and amazing conversations that we have every day on that platform. Until then, kwaheri!